change in length rod due to change in temperature depends upon a original length b change in temperature c a coefficient of thermal expansion d all of the above Thermal stress is developed in rods subjected to change in temperature when A allowed to expand freely B not allowed to expand freely C both A and B D none of the above If a prismatic bar is not free to expand freely in X direction then strain restrained in X direction will be A. Alpha T B. L Alpha T C. Alpha T D. Alpha E If a prismatic bar is not free to expand in direction then stress developed in X direction will be A. Alpha T B. L Alpha T C. Alpha T D. Alpha E If steel strip welded to a copper strip of the same dimension along the length and if the temperature increased, A. Copper has compressive stress, B. Steel has compressive stress, C. Copper has a tensile stress, D. Both have a tensile stress. If steel rod is welded to a copper rod and the end-to-end -end position and composite are fixed between regional support and if the temperature is decreased, A. Copper has tensile stress B. Steel has compressive stress C. Both have tensile stress D. Both have compressive stress A steel rail has a length of 10 meters at the temperature of 25 degrees Celsius the temperature at which length rail increased by 1.2 millimeters, A, 10, B, 15, C, 25, D, 35. Which of the following beam will develop thermal stress when subjected to change in temperature? A. Cantilever B. Beam with a roller at one end and hinge at the other. C. Simply support D. None of above. <laughs>